Hey man, hello and welcome to Relaxed Mill. Been a long, long while since I've been able to do a video. Uh, <laughs> it's actually been, uh, Mother Nature didn't want to cooperate. It's uh, springtime here in uh, Western Oklahoma. And so it's, uh, it's every time I try to have a weekend off and I've gotten, got everything taken care of and I can do some videos, the wind's blowing 100 miles an hour and I like to do it, my, the videos outdoors. So it makes it a little bit of a of a challenge when the uh, when you couldn't hear me because the wind was blowing through the microphone so bad and that and also had the problem of you know ha trying to keep a a video camera tripod and all still because if not it was sitting there it'd be shaking all over the place it was a horrendous uh, challenge and so I just kept trying to wait until there was a better day better day and I just got finished doing the blog post that's uh, going to be coming out here soon and that uh because of that uh i was able to step out here and i realized hey it's kind of a nice day yeah we got a little bit of a breeze it's nice it's nothing uh nothing horrible so i wanted to go ahead and start sharing with you and today um granted it, it's the the states are starting to actually open back up after all this whole uh, month and a half almost two months worth of pandemic nonsense that's been going on and uh the the craziness that entailed and all the you know we have all went through a whole series of different uh emotions because of that whole uh that whole event that none of us have been used to and it's been 100 years since we had one that just really just kind of shook us to the bone so it's because of that uh everybody was you know trying to figure out what do we do you know during a pandemic and that's kind of what i want to talk about so you know yeah it's a little late to the show on this one but uh if china shows <laughs> it shows its uh its uh propensity uh, of letting uh of letting viruses fly again then you know we'll 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 go from there what i wanted to talk about today is actually what did we learn from this whole pandemic thing? What, what is it that, uh, what lessons can we take from this whole, from the COVID-19 pandemic and can we take and apply to it and become stronger? So next time, you know, China tries some shenanigans and, and they continue to either, this time they actually get a virus from a bat soup or, or something, they, uh, uh, they can actually, you know, we can actually be prepared. We can know what to actually do with ourselves. First thing out of it all is that uh, learn to be prepared, huh? <laughs> wow, never before in my life have I ever had such a problem getting toilet paper for a couple, three weeks. Uh, I'm glad that my daughter found a monstrous roll of Granted, it's Scott's toilet paper, but you know, when you're in a pinch, it's it, it does the job. You just have to use twice as much because it's usually only single ply. But so we, uh, being prepared, not just living day to day, or not just the, looking at a a week ahead of advance, to actually take the time and and make a plan. What are you going to actually do? with uh, how are you going to be prepared for the next time something this disruptive comes roaring across our country. Um, a lot of people realized, hey, we need to learn how to bake. So there was a whole COVID baking or uh, hashtag that was going on where people were trying different things and finding out that uh, Tasty's little, little three minute clickbait videos don't work at all. And so, <laughs> You find, it, but you learn that, hey, I might need to know how to make bread. I might need to know how to do X, Y, and or Z. And so we need to start taking some of the lessons that we have and that we can learn from the greatest generation. Uh, plant a garden. I mean, come on, that is, I've been wanting to plant a garden for, for years now. And at the moment, my day job doesn't really uh, uh, allow for that but at the same time if you can do a garden and you can make a garden and you can tend a garden there are a lot of benefits to actually just having a garden one you get fresh fruits and vegetables second of all you get the 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 benefits and the pride of being able to go out and actually pick your own uh aubergine or your which is a, a great actual name of a uh, of an eggplant if you are curious so you get the the extra benefits you you have something that's not fully uh, not as much processed you can put as much or as little salt into into the meal uh, that you want 
Um, but another benefit is you can make money off of that. You can sell that. There's things called farmer's market. And if you don't live in a place where there's not a farmer's market, that I would actually highly suggest you get together with some other people who are growing gardens and set it up uh, at farmer's market. You might find out though that your state has, uh, there's a reason why your state doesn't have a farmer's market. It might be because until here recently I'm in Oklahoma, you actually, to be able to sell fresh fruits and vegetables, you actually had to have a sink. And farmer's markets are not about that. That is farmers and truck farmers and, and things like that who get together in a parking lot and they set up a little booth and they just put their, their wares out on the, uh, on the table and you can come by and you can pick up a pound of fresh uh, green beans if you want, or you could get some uh, a bag of, of pre-shelled uh, black-eyed peas. You can get all the uh, fresh ingredients that you want, and so you could. Uh, that's one of the advantages, and you you basically get for very little investment. You can get a a uh, great return on the money because it just takes the watering um, maybe some fertilizing and depending on how you know organic you want to be um, so you're able to get all the everything and it uh, garden and relatively speaking is low cost not to mention when you get the can get the uh, the the fresh fruits and vegetables in uh, you can actually don't have to worry about them rotting because you can learn how to can you've got I would do the, I, I personally would want to can the old fashioned way where you have a, a pressure cooker and not just the Instapot, but an actual pressure cooker and the one that's got the little little weighted uh, pressure relief on there. So it's, it makes the little rattling. If you grew up with grandparents or baby boomers who uh, are used to canning, that is actually one of the most at home soothing sounds granted yeah it's dangerous but at the same time it was one of the most down home incredible home uh reminding sounds that you ever hear it's almost relaxing to hear the 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 pressure of the uh of the pressure cooker just hissing right away um another thing we uh you can actually do that i learned from this whole uh pandemic uh thing is to stay away from the dadgum media. I mean, come on. We have got so many different, differing views uh, that you've got people who are scared to death and aren't about to try to get outside when in all reality, this, it, the COVID-19 virus is, it doesn't survive out, uh, out in the sun. The UV light is shown to, to kill it. And so you get all the information, you figure out and you learn that you know, there's a lot of scare tactics going on in the in the news. They're and that's their whole business uh, uh, model is to actually make you as worried as possible, so you stay tuned to find out. Well, how are we going to get through this whole scary situation that we're in? When in all reality, okay, learn that. Yeah, we've got something. There's something that uh, called the uh, the corona this novel coronavirus, and it was coming through. Our, it was it was ravaging China, and that uh, there's a chance that it's going to start hopping to other countries. Okay, well, you might want to worry about that a little bit, but when it gets here, worrying that it's here is not going to do you any good. Yeah, you can take the necessary precautions, and we've all done the necessary precautions. Try walking next to somebody over in uh, in Walmart or, or any other store that happens to be open. And one, you get the look of how dare you invade my six foot bubble space. And people inherently avoid e each other. It's, we realize that we don't have to have our whole nation shut down as hard as it was. People were avoiding each other at, to begin with. And the third point is, family. Uh, you may have realized that through your, through this time, if you were part of a, part of the, uh, one of the states that just went into complete and total lockdown, or you went into, or you were in someplace like Texas or Oklahoma where, all right, yeah, most of the town and most of the, uh, the businesses were shut down, but you could still get out and, and roam around a bit and you could actually go, uh, go get some exercise you realize that spending a whole bunch of time with your family gets a little stressful, uh, a little problem, problematic because you're not used to spending so much time with your family. 
Um, that is actually a place where you actually need to probably work on uh, work on some stuff because you've got these relationships and those relationships really are important. And when you're spending a lot of time with each other and you are actually getting on each other's nerves, there's a, a loose connection right there. And so you need want to start finding out how to work on that connection. Learn that communication is actually the key. There's a, I've got a blog post that's about uh, relationships during lockdown and it helps, uh, helps to actually explain how uh, building a level of communication and coming around and building that trust. Yeah, you can't just be in their face all the time. You don't like being having people in your face all the time. Neither does your wife nor your kids. They want to have some time to kind of expand and be themselves. And it's not that being around a family isn't uh, to yourself, but to be by yourself, be with yourself is probably a better way to say that. So you can actually grow um, and, and learn. And as you speak, you could learn the very difficult lesson and skill of actually listening to what a person's saying. They may be saying something, but what they're truly saying is something on a completely different scale. So you might look at that and listen to it and see if you can come to a uh, come to a better understanding as to what it is about uh, the problems that you're having in your relationship. Are you uh, one a heavy spinner and the other not? You can figure out how to come together for the single purpose of being able to spin things when you need to, but not overspend so that you can actually save up and go on a vacation somewhere down the road. All right. So anyhow, there's three big things that we learned while during the pandemic. And I would like to invite you, if you like this video, like this series, like this channel, uh, please click the, uh, the, the subscribe button down below. And then if you really like it and you want to hear more information that comes out from this channel, click the bell icon. Uh, if you're also interested, and I also have a podcast that you can uh, go to, it's at relaxedmail.com forward slash uh, uh, subscribe. And that will actually, you're able to go and actually subscribe to the, uh, uh, to the podcast. Uh, you can also go and actually see what shows are actually, uh, uh, what episodes are actually available. So, all right, folks, with that, I'm going to let you go. They're fixing to blow the uh, tornado siren here in a few moments uh, as a test. And I just don't think you really want to catch, uh, hear all that. So thanks again for watching. We'll catch you next week. Till then.